Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, look, this, this ain't this ain't for the women. If, if you're a lady, go ahead and keep scrolling. This is only for my homeboys, only for the men who are trying to be kings. Not no prince. You know what I mean? You, you might start off as a prince right now, but we're trying to be kings in here. I'm sorry, Red Pill Movement. I love y'all. Y'all are cool people, but y'all need to stop trying to stop trying to play with our people's minds just to get some money. All right, guys, this is what basically the Red Pill Movement is in a nutshell. In a nutshell. So one, do you have a job? You know what I mean? Are you working? You, like, you have to work in this world. This, this is what this world consists of is working. You have to have some type of income, okay? Learn how to save your money. You don't have to spend your money on all this Louis Vuitton stuff. Like You can get it later, you know what I mean? A lot of people aren't even wealthy until they're 35 or 40, maybe even 50. Some niggas ain't even wealthy until they're 60s. So be happy in the body that you're in and like be cool with what you're wearing. It's okay. Save your money and work hard. Save your money because eventually you're going to have a substantial amount of money that you have. Now look, do you got a lot of bills? Do you have unnecessary bills like a Netflix account? Or like multiple phone bills or any kind of subscriptions like Apple Music. Get rid of those things if you're not really consistent on it. Or if you're not trying to get those bills so that way you can save you those minimum amounts. Minimum dollars eventually add up. So you can cut those out the way. Now look, if you want to try to get you a baddie, you want to know how to get you a baddie, go talk to a couple of them. You know what I mean? They're going to tell you what is required for you to even get to them. Because 95% of the times, they just want you for your money. They're not really getting you for your personality. So until you actually get a substantial amount of money, there's no reason to even talk to a baddie. And by the time you even get a substantial amount of money, you don't even want that baddie that you're thinking, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because the values and the principles that you build when you're working on yourself and you're working on your grind, it's uncomparable just because you done built these values working hard, grinding, doing everything that you need to do so that way you can put yourself in a different light, in a different position. A lot of these men, they just want to keep on using those tactics, knowing that you don't have any confidence, knowing that you might be scared to talk to people or you're scared to get out there and they're going to continue to use that against you to make money. Same thing with women. You know what I mean? They, everybody wants to live their life a certain way. But if you want to live your life, whatever life you got to, you got to work hard at the end of the day to live any type of life here. The only uh, even to be homeless, I can tell you that right now, it's hard. Any life in this world is hard. So you just got to put in that work. Just be consistent every single day. It's not going to happen overnight. You know what I mean? So if you're a young guy, know that it, it might take you 10 to 20 years before you actually get that Ferrari or that Porsche that you want, you know what I mean, or that Beamer that you want, or actually pulling that baddie that you're looking for, and you know what I mean, because you already established core values in your life. So bottom line, work hard, go ahead and stack that money up, you know what I mean, cut off anybody that ain't really trying to help you progress in life. If they're always being negative in your life, address it at first, and if they continue being negative, cut them out your life because you got to reach another level, okay? So stack that money up, save it, save it, save it, save it. Research, do your research and educate yourself on other ways to invest your money besides stocks. There's real estate and there's other different ways that you can put your money safely with low risk and you can make your money increase as well as you working hard. Building those core values in your life is going to pull you any baddie that you want. Guarantee, man. It's your boy G. Brooks signing out of here.